So you remember that uh, almost one year ago we unveiled the Cochrela X uh, uh, vehicle during the WDS show in Riyadh. Since then we've been discussing with a number of potential partners on this subject. And uh, today we've uh, concluded an agreement with uh, Edge Nimer in order to consider together the possibility of developing, finalizing the development, industrializing, manufacturing and, and selling in a joint uh, approach uh, this uh, Coquilla X. Defense market is very fond of uh, innovation and uh, we feel that it's very important for John Cochrane to provide to the market on a regular basis innovative concepts. And the Cochrane X is the, our last innovative concept that we bring to the market. new technology effectively it's a combination of a rally raid or a Paris Dakar type chassis with our lethality solution and we combine the two to make a new very fast interceptor capable of running at 200 kilometers an hour on a highway 160 kilometers an hour across desert with an autonomy of around about 600 kilometers with the firepower of the Bushmaster 25 millimeter weapon system in the retractable turret that you can see behind me so it's a new concept unique in the world. We launched it last March in Riyadh and since then we've been doing extensive trials to test the concept. We've covered more than 2,000 kilometers on different types of terrain at different types of speed. We fired more than 1,500 rounds of ammunition at different targets and different uh, target scenarios. Very good results in terms of precision. We've done stability trials at high speed using the stab that we've designed to work with the optical system. Very, very good results as well. So we were able to show that to Nima in the, the autumn. We had a small delay in the summer in Belgium because last year it didn't rain. So we were off the firing range for three months because of the, the dry conditions. But since then we've been working very hard testing, validating the concept. And now we're ready to bring to market. We have a two-man crew basically. On the left side is the driver. And on the right side we have the uh, gunner who has a touchscreen in front of him for his mission profile but also has a heads-up display mounted in a helmet where he can operate the system through visual cues on the menus that are in front of him. This is a new technology as well that we're showcasing in the IX. It's a development that's been partly funded by the regional government and we are bringing forward this as a concept for employment because at high speed trying to operate a touchscreen or a joystick could be very complicated. Whereas visually you're able to stabilize your eye and use something to select on a menu by pure visual technique with a perhaps manual confirmation. And those are the technologies we are exploring. Protection, we are designing a, uh, an inner cell to protect the crew. So the concept there will be to have a standard level two protection for the crew and mine protection level three underneath using a, a survival cell similar to the Formula One cars that you see today. This is to provide a low profile to be stealthy, to be able to move through uh, urban con or civil uh, regions without causing panic, but to hide yourself away until you actually need to deploy your gun. All you see is the optical device that allows us to do the scanning, to observe what's happening around us, to give us the situational awareness. Thank you so much.